If you're going to Animal Kingdom and you plan on using Genie Plus in order to save time in the park, let's talk about how you should prioritize the reservations you make in order to experience attractions that are enjoyable and to save the most time. If those are the things that you care about, Kilimanjaro Safaris should be at the top of the list. It typically doesn't sell out until 1 p.m., but this is the earliest sellout of anything in the park, so you want to prioritize it early in the day. You can also save an average of 43 minutes with this Genie Plus reservation, and that's a lot. It's not the highest in this park, but if you can save three quarters of an hour with just one reservation, that's pretty good. Satisfaction at Kilimanjaro Safaris is what puts it over the top here. Highest satisfaction rating in the park, 4.7 out of 5. So every satisfaction score you're going to see here is on a scale of 5. So that makes Kilimanjaro Safaris the obvious first choice. Coming in second place, we have Navi River Journey, which often sells out around the same time as Kilimanjaro Safaris. And it saves you even more time, so you can save an average of 51 minutes. This is really high all across Disney World. Anything that gets you above 50 minutes is pretty rare. But the satisfaction at Navi River Journey is relatively low at 3.8. So this bumps it into second place even though it has higher time savings because you're not as likely to enjoy it. That might be due to its long wait time, so if you don't have to wait for it, you might enjoy it even more. So give it a shot if that's still available after you do Kilimanjaro Safaris. In third place, at least for the summer and early fall when temperatures are really high in Orlando, we have Kali River Rapids. Here you're going to save about half an hour compared to standby, and it typically doesn't sell out until about 3 p.m., so this is easy to slot in after those top two. Satisfaction here is 4.1, but if it's really hot and sweaty at Animal Kingdom, this is a great way to cool off in the middle of the day, making it a worthwhile reservation. In fourth place, we have Expedition Everest, so it's a little surprising that it comes in this low, but really you're not saving as much time compared to standby at Everest, just 24 minutes of average savings, and you have availability almost all day, so it often doesn't sell out until 7 p.m., Satisfaction is high here, though, at 4.6. Definitely something you need to experience. But even if you have to do it on standby, it's not going to be that painful. So that gets it into fourth place at Animal Kingdom. In fifth place is where Genie Plus starts to not be as useful at Animal Kingdom. We've got Dinosaur. It doesn't sell out until about 3 p.m. each day, but you're typically only saving about 15 minutes compared to standby. Still, if you have reservations available and you're still at Animal Kingdom, you might as well do that, but satisfaction at Dinosaur is lower at 3.8. And then finally, the only other Genie Plus option at Animal Kingdom that isn't something like a show is it's tough to be a bug. So this is a show too, but typically can generate some weights. So... A Genie Plus reservation might get you in, one showing earlier than it otherwise would. That could save you something like five minutes on average. That's going to be pretty rare. And it doesn't sell out until the park closes, typically. Satisfaction at It's Tough to Be a Bug is really low. I highly recommend, especially if you have little kids, to check out what the show actually involves before you take them in the theater. And so satisfaction at 3.6 means you might want to avoid it and just not even use that Genie Plus reservation anyway.